Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to build and fly a new 4-inch micro quadcopter using the MK2 frame by Ronin UAV. Ronin UAV is a one-man show company based out in the US, owned and run by a nice fellow named Rob. After cutting his own frames, Rob decided to take it a step further and established an online storefront in which he sells his custom designs. In this quick video, I'm going to go over the features and specs of this frame, give you my feedback after testing it out, show you the build procedure in which I pretty much transferred all the parts from the Recon FPV Recon 4FR to this new frame, and wrap up the video with some flight footage. First of all, in terms of packaging, here you can see the contents of the Ronin MK2 kit. Everything came well organized, you are provided with the user manual that shows you how to assemble the frame, and while no 3D printed accessories are included, you are provided with free STL files, which you can find on Ronin UAV's website. In terms of features and specs, the wheelbase of the MK2 frame is 177mm and it features a squashed X pattern. The thickness of the two one-piece arms is 3.5mm, the width is 8.6mm, and they provide some protection for the motors. It supports both 9x9 and 12x12mm motor mounting pattern. The thickness of the bottom plate is 3mm, the thickness of the top plate is 1.5mm, and the distance between them is 20.4mm. The frame supports micro-sized FB cameras, and the side carbon fiber plates provide plenty of protection for the camera and its lens. On the center of the bottom plate, you can find 16x16, 20x20, and 25.5x25.5mm M2 mounting holes for mounting your stack. All of the mounting holes can be accessed from the bottom of the frame without disassembling any part. And on the back of the frame, you can find 16x16 and 20x20mm M2 mounting holes for mounting your VTX. In addition, the dry weight of the frame is 53 grams, so it's pretty light. Including the electronic components of the Recon FPV Recon 4 FR, along with the Cadix Nebula Pro Digital Transmission Vista unit, the weight is 169.4 grams. Including a GNB 1100 mAh 4S LHV battery, which should provide you with about 6 minutes of flight time, the weight is 259.6 grams, so it's over 250 grams, so in case you need to stay below this limit, you will need to use a smaller battery, especially if you'd like to use it in conjunction with a lightweight action camera. And the total weight, including a naked GoPro 7 Black camera and its mount, is 204.4 grams. The next thing that I've done is to transfer the 1804 3500 kV motors along with the Zeus F7 all-in-one flight controller from the Recon FPV Recon 4 FR quadcopter to this build. Overall, I really like the end results since this is a very agile and powerful quadcopter. It can easily carry a lightweight action camera with no problem, so you will still have plenty of power even with the extra weight. The base tune of the Recon 4 FR works well, I included it down below, so in case you are going to build something similar, it's going to be a great starting point. And in case you would like to go for a lighter build, which is going to be more efficient and will provide you with longer flight times, you should probably go with 1404 motors. As for the frame itself, in my opinion, it features a very functional design. The arms are properly secured in their position, which is great. As I mentioned before, the FPV camera is properly secured, which is an important aspect. As far as I can tell, it will be able to withstand mild to medium crashes. And the Vista unit is properly protected on the back of the frame. Pay attention though that this standoff is going to block the USB Type-C connector of the Vista so you will need to disassemble it in order to access it, or reverse the direction of the Vista. I do think, however, and I told it to Rob, that it could have been great if 3D printed parts were included, even for an extra cost, as not everybody have access to a 3D printer, and hopefully this option is going to be added soon. Anyway, now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage and some photos from the build procedure, 
But before that, Ronin UAV asked me to host a giveaway. Of course, I said yes. And one lucky subscriber is going to win a coupon code for a free MK2 frame. They will need to pay the shipping cost and the coupon code is going to be valid for one year. In order to participate in the giveaway, first make sure that you are publicly subscribed to my channel, hit the notifications bell so in case you are the winner, you are not going to miss out, and leave a single comment that contains the code that you can currently see on your screen. As always, all Patreon supporters from level supporter and above are automatically included in the giveaway, and the winner is going to be announced in the next two weeks or so. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. I wish you all happy flying and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.